Hi, I will show you how can you make a sheet metal tray in three easy steps. First of all, let's go to the SolidWorks, but before that, let's go to show you uh, what we want to do today. This kind of tray, uh, you will find the dimensions in below in the description in a PDF file. Now, I will start a new drawing and um, first of all we will make we will choose a plane and we will make the bottom of the tray uh, respecting these dimensions. So, I will choose let's say the, the plane top sketch, I will make a new sketch and here in this sketch I will choose to realize a center rectangle something like that I will add dimensions 114 as the width and 52 as height the next step will be to check if we have activated the sheet metal uh, tab otherwise you will uh, push the right mouse button and you will choose from tabs the uh, sheet metal and activate it so we already have activated these tabs I, and I will choose from uh, the first button to realize a base flange tab at the left you may uh, set the uh, thickness of the sheet let's say uh, one millimeter is the default value and uh, at as about the band allowance you may choose also another type of uh, define how to define the band allowance but let's say that we remain here with the also the default value as uh, 0.5 and also about the relief you may choose the shape of the relief as rectangular tier or brown you will see what it's that meaning let's uh, remain at tier so I will check and obtain this type of uh, plate you will see you can uh, observe here that it appears as we have the high defined the sheet metal from now on we can work as uh, a part that it's composed by sheet metal what it's uh, the particularity of this sheet metal always you can flatten and uh, activate or not the flatten button uh, in this stage in this uh, step we are already flattened so let's continue we have this plate and uh, the next step will be to choose to choose this edge planner edge and we will make a new sketch on this planner face and simply we will realize a profile that will be as you will see extradited or um, we will use the meter flange command so we have here please uh, be attentive to realize a vertical line and now in horizontal line as dimensions this will be 20 millimeters of course and this one only 5 now we have a profile and we will uh, realize a so-called sheet metal meter flange meter flange adds a series of flanges to edges of a sheet metal part we already have the sheet metal part and here will be the meter flange as you may see here it's that we want to realize but we will uh, select again the other 
please be attentive to select the top edge not the bottom edge and lastly that's the final uh, shape that we want to realize you may choose here other types of buttons but i will let you the pleasure to experiment so okay and um, you can see here we have roughly a tray what is the next uh, what will be the next step let's follow our instructions the next step will be to close the corners we have as you may see here a command that close the corners because here we don't have these corners in the good condition we just uh, the, these corners just stay aside so we are going back to the sheet metal menu and we will choose corners or from here directly click on this button or close corner from here now this command works as follows you will choose one the left side or the right is the same thing and the program will uh, try to find the opposite face to close the gap so as you can see here we have the corners opened and we want to close them the material will be extended to leave as small a gap as possible uh, but always remaining the possibility to flatten this kind of um, part so i will go to corners and i will choose close corners first of all i will select uh, side and uh, please disable the auto propagation because otherwise uh, this kind of this type of part cannot be this type of uh, command feature cannot be realized so i will um, select again and on one side and on the other window the other side as you may see in the preview the edges the, the sides are extended of course you have the possibility to extend one or another sides or just leave this kind of gap so let's keep the original the, the default option and again follow these steps in the first window you may choose or select one side in the second window the other side we have two more corners to close it's not important in which panel you make the selection but please in different panels make that so here will be this face and on the other panel or window the other one so if i push or click OK, these corners will be will be closed. As you may see. As you may see here we have the abra the tear and also here a little gap to make the the bending possible taking into account the radius and the possibilities of the material now that's the tray we already finished it and i will show you now the possibility to flatten it's automatically you just push the button flatten and you will obtain all the necessary um, including the bending lines all the necessary views or uh, if you open a drawing as i will do right away so let's um, let's reverse the flatten and uh, i will choose make drawing from part this but first of all don't forget to save to save uh, let's go to the desktop and choose tray as name 
I save it in the name of tray. I will choose the template to make the drawing. And um, from the right side, I will, first of all, I will insert the, as you may see here, the flattened. It's not important to to, to go to and represent the side because you already know that it's one millimeter the thickness of the material. But I will also insert. I will also insert other views, something like that, and from above, and from a side, from a left, and. The next final, the next steps will be to put the dimensions. As you may see here, we have all, not only the bending lines represented here at scale, but also the instructions that here the material will be bended up at 90 degrees with radius 1. And here the material will be bended down at 90 degrees for, with the radius 1. All the instructions to realize this tray. And as you may see, if I dimension, we will have fine, fine uh, rounded values, 62, and uh, about the width. Let's let's choose this, and from here the most exterior edge and you may see also a beautiful rounded value but in order to realize uh, this we don't have here the the length 124 now that's uh, and about the flattened drawing you may see that the values are not so round and if you want to cut from a sheet of metal you will have to cut 100 and you may see here 101.42 millimeters in order to obtain at the end here will be the bend but uh, I'm sure that this value are quite necessary to in order to make a good uh, tray or a good part from sheet metal. Now I will um, leave you the possibility, the pleasure to finalize the drawing and um, that's all about how to make a tray using, I'm going back to the part, how to make a, a sheet metal part using this uh, very interesting comments. I will show you also how can you realize any other types of uh, sheet metal parts and um, thank you for your attention.